Welcome. This is part 9 about the Ulsamar engine patent. We have now reached 16.4% more power and 10.1% less fuel consumption in simulations done by FEV Sverige AB. This is for a two-cylinder petrol engine and we compare the Ulsamar engine with, uh, with the baseline engine with regards to brake specific fuel consumption and brake power. We're running these uh, tests at 4000 RPM. We use the software GT Power and here is the model that we are setting up. We're running the tests at 3.5 bar boost and here below in red text you can see the file and you can download this file and import it to GT Power and verify these results yourself. In the red areas we see the uh, different parameters that we have optimized. And um, this red line here shows the actual boost pressure the blue line shows the target boost pressure and the green line show the wastegate diameter and all these have stabilized so we have a stable result and it's 211.2 gram per kilowatt hour in the brake specific fuel consumption and it's 152.8 kilowatts in brake power This is the first version of the Ulsamar engine. Here we have added an uh, exhaust piston. And you can see the red text with this uh, model. And in the red areas, these are the variables that we have optimized. And you can see that we have added a parameter called angle multiplier. So it's a scaling factor for the exhaust valve opening duration. And here we can see that the uh, red target, um, well, the red curve has reached the target of the blue curve. So we have a stable pressure and uh, also the wastegate diameter is stable as well. And we have reached 199.8 gram per kilowatt hour, which is minus 5.4% in fuel consumption and 163.4 kilowatt in power which is plus 6.7% compared to the baseline engine. Then we add an um, exhaust port, a side port. So when the exhaust piston goes to its lower part in the cylinder, it opens a port to the side and releases additional pressure. And this uh, mathematical expression is a um, function for how it opens this um, side port area. And uh, the variables in red, these have been optimized. The yellow curve here show the area of the side port open and you can see the scale in square millimeters to the right. The red curve show the pressure uh, at the turbine for the um, uh, baseline engine. The blue curve shows the pressure for the Ulsamar engine with the exhaust piston only and the green curve show the pressure with uh, both the side port and uh, exhaust piston. So you can see that with both side port and exhaust piston we can uh, decrease the uh, turbo orifice area. So we have a higher peak in the beginning when it comes to the pressure pushing down on the exhaust piston. But as we can release this pressure at the end with the side port it's not much higher there and we get maximum uh, power from the side uh, and from the exhaust piston. 
And these are the results. It's 190.7 gram per kilowatt hour, which is minus 9.7%. And it's 177.6 kilowatt in power, which is plus 16% compared to the baseline engine. Then we realized that the um, diameter of the exhaust piston it's good if it's wide and it's a short stroke. So then we wanted also to test to have two opposed exhaust pistons to maximize the area of the exhaust pistons exposed to the pressure. So we built a new model and here we can see two exhaust pistons and we still have the side port here. And uh, we optimize these uh, variables and we reached a stable condition and had um, 189.7 gram per kilowatt hour which is minus 10.1 percent in fuel consumption and 178.2 kilowatt in power which is plus 16.4 percent compared to the baseline engine. Then we took the same optimized engines. They had been optimized for 4000 RPMs and three and a half bar boost. And we took the baseline engine and tested it for 2.5, 3.0, 3 3.5 and 4.0 bar boost. And compared to itself, it's zero difference. Nothing strange there. Then we took the latest Ulsamar engine with two opposed exhaust pistons and we ran the same uh, boost pressures and we had minus 7% fuel consumption at 2.5 bar, minus 9.2 at 3 bar, minus 10.1 at 3.5 bar and that is the result we are um, satisfied with because that's optimized for 3.5 bar. But we also see that if we increase the pressure to 4 bar, we get even better results. And we could continue to increase the boost pressure even more, but this is a small petrol engine, so it's quite high boost pressure already. And we will um, test with other engines, big diesel engines, with higher boost later on. And I will uh, publish those results later. So, if you have access to the GT Power software, then you can verify these results by downloading the following GT Power model files from the ulsama.com website. And you can also use this as a base to build your own models and see if you can improve this um, fuel consumption even more. Thank you. And please visit the website and download both the presentation from FVV Sverige AB and all the files that you need to test these results yourself.